They say a face can launch a thousand ships. <laughs> Who the hell is the judge for what a face is worth? Well, I have got the golden rule of facial beauty that is beyond your gender, your race, and your time. In the artistic world, whether or not someone is pretty or cute has nothing to do with beauty. The aesthetic standard, in most cases, is totally different than the daily life ideal. In fact, something considered as ugly in the common life might be extraordinarily elegant and beautiful in the artistic world. For example, a shriveled flower and the leaves can be beautiful, as opposed to ostentatious golden jewelry decorating someone's neck or hands, that will surely be highly appraised by society. But it would be ugly in fine art, and be considered in vulgar taste. In addition. A broken and exhausted peasant in the field can be astonishingly beautiful in fine art. In opposition to a overly dressed-up popular movie star that piled tons of makeup and thick mascara on fake eyelashes, which is considered extremely ugly and low taste. Oh, please, don't talk to me about the synthetic and commercialized sexiness. It's nowhere near the parameter of aesthetic beauty. Artistic beauty is non-subjective and much more principled. It's a graceful. Mathematic and geometrical results that is based on eternal aesthetic rules. Based on fine art masters and connoisseurs' obsession for beauty, a ultimate rules of beauty has been developed. And was considered as the timeless classic evaluation for human facial beauty. A normal human skull contains three proportionally equal sections. Top, middle, lower section. A normal width of human face is proportionally the length of five eyes lined up end to end horizontally. The eye sockets are located on a line. At the top one third of the middle section, the nose fills the heights of the entire middle section. The mouth is located on a line at the top one third of the lower section. The ideal mouth is one and a half eyes wide. Ninety-degree cross line. A straight line drawn from forehead to chin, and then crossed with a right angle from tip of the nose to the base of ear.
If angle is more close to 90 degree, then the facial structure is recognized as more aesthetically beautiful. People with such proportions would be considered to have a perfect facial structure. They are more likely valued as art subject. A trained painter would be more willing to use them as model for inspiration. There, this image is supposed to be the most beautiful face on earth. It can be appreciated beyond gender, race, and time. In other words, it's timeless. It seems to have the power of existence without reference to some specific person. Compare this genderless, racially neutral face with popular celebrities, you will find only a small group of actors possess this level of artistic beauty. I hope this golden rule can assist you to gain some ideal knowledge and help younger friends pick up some self-esteem. If you're someone uncomfortable with your self-image because you don't look like model or pop star, I encourage you to shout, the hell with them! Just because you don't have an ideal proportioned face does not mean you are not a uniquely beautiful individual. Alright? I will see you next time.